So Gemini, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as a, this being your side, the person you did over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, guys, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. All right, see so your message. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So when we're talking about retreating, we're talking about taking a step back. We're talking about going into um, the hermit mode or solitude, uh, giving you time to rejuvenate, think, to process, taking a break from something. And there's a reason why that's your message, because in the past, it seems like whoever this is, they're definitely seen as ending being around. So there was definitely some form of ending with the Ten of Swords that you feel on some level for some reason, and it might be simply because this person was portraying like that was the case. I don't think it was, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, you feel like a third person was involved or there's some form of third energy um, that kind of had something to do with it or, you know, you've broken up and now this person has quickly moved on. It's that type of thing. You didn't want it to end. There is this night of, let me see if I can pick these up. There is this night of swords here, which is a very reckless, youngish way of thinking that card there. So this recklessness could have been expressed through, through you just maybe trying to reach out to this person, you know, bombarding with phone calls or messages or text messages or DMs or whatever the case may be. A bit panicky, let's say that. And that doubled down by the Knight of Swords again. So a bit of recklessness around your thinking. Um, wanting a solution to kind of this situation that you're in with this person. Again, it's this feeling like, I feel like, now nah, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say for some of you, this could be the case for some of you, that, you know, the fact that this person or you felt like this person had already moved on with someone else or there was someone else in the picture. I feel like this that is the, is the already moved on with someone else, which kind of made you exhibit this Knight of Swords type of energy in your thinking, a bit reckless around that. But I will say, regardless of the fact that this person kind of seen this, I'm not sure who ended it, I feel like it's them, but um, it, it, we got the Magician card there. I feel like it was a calculated move in order for them to advance this relationship because there's still this strong attraction there. We've got the lovers there. But there's also the Ace of uh, Ace of Cups, which talks about love. You wouldn't know it, though, with the Moon card there because they're very sneaky, keeping it hidden with the Seven of Swords. Keeping that hidden, not expressing that, acting like they don't, they no longer, they never did. They might have even expressed that to you. But that's not the truth with the moon at all. Which brings us to where we are at the moment. I feel like this person could be, again, it's this displaying like things are okay. You know, and that could be you know, them posting on social media and you seeing and them happy, maybe going on holidays, you know, out for dinner, dates, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like you're just kind of looking in on this with the high priestess. But your intuition is kind of kicking in. It's kicking in saying, hmm, you know, something doesn't be, feel right or something's not right with this picture. Um, you know, this person was meant to be for me either. It's just this intuitive knowing about what this person is displaying or how they're showing up at this current time. Yeah, okay, so there's acknowledgement on your end that things have ended with the 10 there. But there is this death card, and I'm loving seeing that because that talks about transformation with the temperance, which talks about peace you know, bringing something into alignment, balancing something out um, and being very protective as well. So I feel like for you, there is this definite acknowledgement of a transformation needing to happen. Um, this is more about when we're talking about the death card, we're talking about something coming to an end, but with an ending of something, there's a rebirth, the birthing of something. So we're talking about huge transformation. That's a major arcana as well transformation around this that brings you some form of peace there's something in the way that you start to think or that you're thinking now which brings some form of peace within you brings you into a much better place emotionally not only with yourself but also with this this person let me pull on that one more time let me pull on that because i feel like i don't want to run away with that train of thought
bank card. Yeah, you do feel, of course you do. You still feel for this person, of course you do. You know, they make you happy. Um, but there's a level of strength that you have to pull on because it seems like you have to walk away from something and there's acknowledgement there and it's not you have to walk away, you're not together anyway, but it's more about an emotional shift for you. It's about, yes, I, I, I was unable to maybe say what it is that I wanted to say to this person, have that last conversation, but I've got to turn my back on this and get myself into a better place emotionally because you're in, even though your intuition is kicking in and saying someone just ain't feeling right or looking right when it comes to this person displaying like they're happy and things are going well mm, I don't think you're following that though or and if you are I mean regardless of with me well I feel like these moves that you're making now just how you're thinking and feeling is a is a good thing because what it does is it propels you into this uh, disconnecting from this person in some way shape or form I want to say disconnected from this person, stepping back, don't look at their social media, don't go online, don't check and see, you know, all of this type of thing. It's about allowing this person to, because I tell you something, this person has a sense most definitely that you are watching their social media or your, because they're, they're kind of exaggerating their life. Um, they're not wanting to deal with the writing on the wall, ultimately with the two. They're not wanting to deal with the writing on the wall. They're want, not wanting to look at the writing of the wall. It's like they're using this as a distraction. So if they are dating, if that is true, it's a distraction. It's a distraction away from you and this relationship, ultimately, this connection, let's say that. There's a level of understanding that they do have around that, though. Um, we've got the high priestess. Again, you look high in, higher wisdom, higher knowledge. But again, it's that choice, making a choice to, making a choice to not deal with this and use this as a distraction. It's all about a distraction. It's all about using this as a kind of distraction. What's interesting though is the eight. They got the eight. I'm going to pull one more time on this because I feel like this is, it's definitely them moving away from something towards their emotional happiness. It's like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is more about birthing of you. This is this person, I'll tell you something. We've got the Empress card, which talks about the creation, the birthing of something. Page, which talks about moving in a new direction. And we've got the Hangman, which talks about stuck, being stuck. This person wants to get into a better place with you. Of course, their feelings never left. You wouldn't know it. Um, now you do. But all of this was an act, so to speak. Don't ask me why. Uh, it's usually maybe to get you to pull up your boots. Maybe you was dragging your feet. And this person said, okay, so this is what I'm going to do in order for them to realize what it is that they've got. And it's kind of working. <laughs> it kind of is working. But what's beneficial for you at the moment is to retreat. Because if you do approach this person or you do connect with this person, then this person's going to give, get a sense that they have the upper hand. That way down the line, they can start pulling those strings again. Well, in order for me to get my Gemini to act a certain way, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. And it's like, well, they really want that. What you want is to be able to have a sense of power within this relationship as well as them. So you're both meeting together like that. That's where it's, it, it gets into this disconnect. It's time to disconnect. It's time to get yourself into a, an emotional space that makes you feel good you know take that transformation go through that transformation and find that peace that balance within yourself within yourself I feel like this person this this situation has been a bit rough on your emotional uh, uh emotional space gemini um so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity for those of you who don't know i do weekly singles and love readings if that's something that interests you as i say subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week.